So this couple came to Planned Parenthood this morning. On the way in, they definitely, the, the father seemed to be wanting to talk with us. Mm -hmm. uh, they went in and then when the father came back out, he seemed to want to explain himself to us. And so he came over and parked and began to tell us that he wanted us to know that this was a hard decision for him and that he believed in God and all the things that he had in his heart that he was using to justify doing this. That God knew this was a tough decision, but God would forgive him. Mm -hmm. yeah. But we began to talk to him about how, you know, God is obligated to bring consequences into our lives. Yes. Just because he forgives us if we're sincere doesn't mean that those consequences, what, you know, the Bible refers to as, you know, reaping what you sow won't happen. And that he may think that this decision will make his life easier when in actuality it'll make it harder because he'll have to live with those consequences and the guilt and regret, not only his guilt, but the mother's guilt as well. And we asked if she would want to keep the child and he admitted that yes, uh, that she would want to keep it. And after we talked for a while, he said, well, let me text her and see what she wants to do. And he texted her to come over and um, she listened to us, explained to her that, uh, you know, there were pro-life clinics all around the city ready and willing to help, that there were resources for food and clothes and, um, you know, diapers, cribs, etc., cetera, uh, that were available and that we would even adopt their child exactly. if they yeah. weren't able to, yeah. that um, they were willing to accept information about the pro-life clinics that um, they left here and gave us the impression that they were going to keep the child. Please we provided God. them yeah. our personal God. information so that they could contact us and we committed to walk with them through the pregnancy and beyond to help them. Amen.